What's up, producers? Joshua Casper with Plugin Boutique, and this is going to be a quick video on my workflow with Insta Composer 2 from WA Production inside of Ableton Live. Ableton Live is behind all most other DAWs on outputting MIDI from individual channels. So there's a little bit of an issue in Ableton Live with something like Insta Composer, where there are six tracks available. Uh, all creating MIDI. There's no way to send those to individual instruments. There is a plugin from Blue Cat Audio, which I've covered in a different video. In fact, Insta Composer 1 on how to get that, but that's a premium plugin, so it costs money. And I'm just gonna show you how I've been using Insta Composer 2 without having installed the premium Blue Cat. Forget the, the name of the plugin, but I'll leave a link to it. This is how I set it up, okay? So this is not a video, by the way, about Instant Composer and how to use it. I'll do that in a separate video. This is specifically about my workflow inside of Ableton Live. What I've done is Instant Composer on track one, and then I've just got my different instruments here on tracks two through seven. You can see here I've got Massive X, uh, just a subby bass instrument from a Ableton Operator, I believe. A couple of pigments, Massive X, and then Massive X. Now that's gonna change depending on what you have loaded inside of Instant Composer. You can see that I've, my structure is track one is chords, then bass, melody, rhythm, pad, and ostinato. Each one of those instruments do well with that type of MIDI information. And then I've got XO on a final channel, and we'll talk about that. That's for drums, which Insta Composer could do now. But this is it. So I've created a preset song starter here using Insta Composer's features. And what I would do is just drag and drop from the generator, this one. So you can do this individually on a track by track basis, but this will do all of them. And I just click and drag it and drop it into Ableton Live. If I wanted to make a change, let's say I changed everything, I just hit A, right? And then hit go and get something new that might look or sound interesting. So this is a new, essentially song starter in the same key. I would then just do that again inside of Ableton Live, click, drag and drop, and all of my instruments are already set up. and it's good to go. If I want to individually tweak a track, I could go just select uh, three, tweak it out, and then I can do individually. So I just wanna come and make sure I'm dragging it to the right spot. And you'll see that's my workflow. For drums, what I would do is I'm just using XO. It's my favorite drum player. So that makes, you know, there's no surprises there. But if I wanted to, I'd come into drums here and do maybe dance. I don't know. Select that channel. And this is dependent on the pre-gen modulation or modification. I don't know which one of that mod stands for. But down here, we're going to want to put more stuff in. Um, just because I like pretty sparse musical bits, but for the drums, I'm gonna want a little bit more. So I just come in and add a bit more and then hit go. And this looks like a pretty full drum loop there. So what I would do is just drag and drop that into the channel with XO. And inside of XO, I've got no sequencer information. So if I play this MIDI now, it will just play the MIDI with the drums that I have loaded here. So that's the MIDI generated by Insta Composer. And if I play it all together now. It's literally giving me a song starter and all I need to do going forward is just regenerate. Uh, it, is, it is kind of finicky that I have to drag and drop into Ableton Live every time I think I see something that I like, but that's not Instant Composer's fault, that's Ableton Live's fault. And I just wanted to share that with you for the people who have Ableton Live. I know it's a lot of you and people who are interested in Instant Composer and people who don't want to spend money on that premium blue cap product, which will allow you to do, it will allow you to work faster, but I don't think it's, it's not necessary to still get everything Instant Composer 2 has to offer. Anyway, I hope that helps some of you. Let me know in the comments if it did. And as usual, I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.